Are you struggling to get coins in Madden 17? Check out the safe and secure MobileMaddenCoins.com. They have coins on all platforms and use the code Ryan at checkout for 10% off. Yo, what is going on you guys? Welcome to Pack and Play Gameplay number three, episode number four total. And this guy right here, he's got the man, the myth, the legend himself, Adrian Peterson. And this AP, I think it's a 92 overall, definitely no joke. I've used it myself. I'm sure you guys have used it as well. The solo challenge reward, yeah. I mean, this guy, as the title of the video says, he's just unstoppable. I need to do something to stop him. We gotta win this game. You already know AP is gonna be running all over me. Let's see how we can do against this guy here. Also wearing the Cardinals Color Rush jerseys. And I have not seen these in game yet, and I must say, these jerseys are looking fire. I would give them an A+, plus. I mean, 10 out of 10. I really like them. The only thing I would really change if I was, you know, the person creating the Color Rush uniforms, and I know you can't really do it because you can't modify a helmet. Uh, if the Cardinals have a black helmet to go along with the Color Rush black uniforms, or maybe a red helmet, I think that would look a lot better than white. Um, to me, it just doesn't really stand out and, and look nice with the white helmet just because, you know, white on black on black with some red in there. I don't know. It just doesn't really look great to me. Uh, from the side, they look good, but from the back, I don't know. It just kind of looks weird. Um, but AP is going to get in the end zone right there for a touchdown, and we just got to try to figure out a way to keep scoring because AP is going to bring him down the field every single drive and get him into the end zone if we do not stop him. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here on offense. Running the Wildcat with LeGarrette Blunt and DeMarco Murray as usual. Going deep here to Josh Doxson. And, you know, hopefully eventually we can get a guy that's a little bit better than Doxson that'll actually break free from that route a little bit quicker. Um, right there, I was trying to get Luck to, you know, loft that over his head, but uh, he does have Ray Nitschke right there, and he's a really good cover linebacker if given the time to just sit there in his zone. So definitely not able to get anything moving right there. Sacked on third down and 12, and we're going to be attempting a 57-yard field goal here. And we got Roberto Aguayo kicking the field goal. And that is going to be 7-3 to three here. And then, of course, AP again. we got to worry about him for the second time now. Play action fake. And he's going to be looking deep here on a deep post to the left side of the field. We got Earl Thomas over there. And we're going to break it up. And he's going to end up dropping the pass. But now, of course, like I said, AP. Here we go, guys. Second out of 10. AP up the middle. And he's going to break for a couple of yards here down to the 31-yard line. Third down and four. And he knows that he could just run all over me. I was expecting AP. But we got some Charles Sims up the middle. And that was a nice gain. AP again, finding the hole. He ends up getting stuck on one of my guys, and he only gets five yards. That could have been a bigger gain. Even when I user commit to AP and try to get him in the backfield, he breaks a tackle and gets himself a first down. Right there, we got a nice wrap-up tackle, but already 60 yards for AP. Definitely have to do a better job containing him. Like, I don't even know what to do at this point. Uh, nice drag route to the right side of the field. Um, and I do want to mention the defense that I was told to run. Uh, there is a lot of holes in the flats, which I don't like. The main defense I try to run really doesn't give up the flats, but uh, everything else in the middle of the field is kind of covered, except right there where he does go up 14 to three. So now we got our work cut out for us. We gotta get a touchdown before half. We do get the ball at half. So let's see what we can do right now. JJ Nelson on the slant to the left side. We get a first down, two for four, 44 yards for Andrew Luck, his debut game. JJ Nelson again this time up the middle. He's playing some soft zone, and I was trying to exploit it right there, which we do. Again, we have JJ Nelson open, but we end up taking the sack. I could not get it off in time. Javon Curse, two sacks are ready for him. And then JJ Nelson on the post to the right side. We beat him and get in there for a touchdown and bring it to 14 to 10. But we gave him just a little bit too much time. Let's see if we can contain him and make sure he doesn't get a touchdown or a field goal. Wide open, middle of the field, down to the 48-yard line, 27 seconds to go. And we got Sheldon Richardson coming right for the quarterback. Sack, strip, fumble, picked up by Corey Lemonade. And we have 22 seconds to go right now. We got to try to get another touchdown or maybe get into field goal range, which Andrew Luck does on the very first play, sliding down to the 22-yard line. Looking for the end zone right here. He's playing the post. Ray Nitschke again gets his hands up on the ball and bats it away. If not, that could have been a touchdown. Uh, second out of 10 right here, we take a sack, and that's just going to go ahead and force us to take the field goal and go down only by one point, getting the ball back at half in good shape. He can't really stop our offense that well, uh, so I'm kind of feeling good about it at this point. So let's see what happens here. LeGarrette Blunt up the middle. Blunt force trauma gets us down to the 36-yard line. We go right back to the Wildcat here. Try to keep it with LeGarrette Blunt. And we do just that for a pretty decent gain on the counter. I really like mixing in the counter 
with the uh, handoff to, you know, either DeMarco or Derrick Henry. So right here, Derrick Henry takes it, and he gets a bunch of yards down to the 41. So again, moving the ball very, very well, just using Wildcat. Derrick Henry breaking free, finding a hole, big-ass hole up the middle, and that's going to go down to the 27-yard line. Again, another Wildcat, and this one is going to end up getting shut down. So let's go ahead and get out of the Wildcat, go back to our passing formation, see what we can do right here. We have a player open. We're going to go ahead and run to the left side with Andrew Luck, get the easy yard, slide down to about the 22-yard line and try to work on third down and five. Again, Andrew Luck up the middle. I tried to slide, take a big hit, and we're going to end up fumbling the ball, but we get it back right here. And everyone in the Skype call that I was playing told me to go ahead and do a toss. I didn't like what it looked like. I did it anyways, and we turned the ball over. That was a very pivotal moment in this game where we turned the ball over, down 14-3. to three. I probably should have just went ahead and passed or kicked my field goal and taken my points. But everyone was saying, Ryan, run the toss, run the toss. He's going to be expecting you to run up the middle. And yeah, we turn the ball over, and it's not looking good right now. Third down and five. He's going to fire over the left side of the field, and that's going to be a completion and double coverage. Aaron Rodgers just surgical right now. First down and ten, again to the left side of the field. Only gets a yard or two. Actually doesn't gain any yards at all, so no gain right there. But AP on the handoff. He delays looking for the right side. It goes to the left. And he's going to pick up the first down. So like I said, AP is unbelievable. Like my team right now just cannot stop him. I don't have enough guys that can really, you know, wrap him up too easily. I have a lot of silvers on my team. And it's just not looking good. I mean, AP again, shrugging off a couple tackles. Look at that beast. Like, what can I do to stop him? AP, play action fake, going deep to his tight end. That was a dangerous throw. But it doesn't result in an interception, which sucks because that would have really helped AP breaking tackles are you really what can I do guys <laughs> you serious how you feeling uh, egg roll I wish I had a breeze running down my leg I'd kill for a cookie sting ray a double-sided scooby snack and yeah Adrian Peterson GG I mean we have a chance right here let's see what we can do He's going to go ahead and take the extra point, go up 21-13. to 13. We're looking for a touchdown. We're looking for a two-point conversion. We got the screen pass going right here to LeGarrette Blunt To the right side, we cut back in, go down to about the 40-yard line, 45-yard line. So let's see what we can do here. First down and 10, avoiding a sack. Andrew Luck is going to go ahead and fire it to a circle, and that's going to be a completion to Travis Benjamin. And we're going to get down here to the 37-yard line. Again, we're looking, and we're going to end up getting sacked, which does suck. But we got to make up for it. Second down and 16. He's giving me all the time in the world to throw this ball. Pockets holding up nice. Andrew Luck looking. Firing downfield to Travis Benjamin. That is going to be a touchdown, guys. We are a two-point conversion away from tying the game. And we drop the pass. We drop the pass. We have to get an onside kick. So here we go. Onside kick. This could determine the fate of the game. We're going to try to do Clickwood's method of getting it right before the green and try to get good power and accuracy. What are we going to get? And my opponent recovers the onside kick, and that essentially will end the game unless of a miracle. AP again to the left side of the field. Another couple of yards. We take the timeout. Second and six. AP again to the left side and just game over. Like, game over. AP almost 150 rushes, rushing yards. It's just over. Like, what can I do to stop this man? There's nothing you can do. If you have the team that I have to stop this man from getting his yards. Like, I'm not even really mad about it. I wasn't mad during the game. I'm not mad watching it back now. Like, AP is just inhuman. Like, 92 overall AP is just too overpowered for the cards that you pull from packs. Um, but, yeah, I mean, GG to my opponent. What, Chase82? I put my mic in after the game. Sent him a message. Said, you know what? I mean... I thought it was a good game. You had a lot of good cards. I'm using a pack and play team. I couldn't stop AP. You know, kind of a little bit of salt in my mouth, but I told him good game, and that's pretty much it, guys. No packs today for the upgrades. Watch tomorrow. Maybe we'll get some upgrades tomorrow. Catch you guys later. Peace.